I want you to understand that as we transition, this call is what we call a power start. This call is to power start your mindset and to power start your business. So what that means for you tonight is we're about to come out of the witness protection program. That's what we're doing. We are no longer going to be in the BYOB witness protection program because the reality is, is the only way you haven't heard about Forex now, the only way you haven't heard about the information is if you're still on quarantine somewhere. You, you still locked up in the house and you on quarantine. The reality is, is somebody is going to share this information with your friend, with your neighbor, with your relative. And the reality is, is it should be you because everybody wants freedom. COVID was on everybody's calendar, but it wasn't on your calendar. You put it on, this is, the pandemic became part of our life. But the reality is, is if you position yourself you don't, you happen to life and life won't happen to you. So I'm actually excited because I have someone who is going to help you come out of the witness protection program. I have someone that's going to help you become just a BYOB change agent. Someone that's going to share some information with you that's really going to empower you right now. And so this person is already doing it. She's already having the success. She is already in position to where she is literally having impact. We're talking about multiple television shows, social media influencer. Yes, she's gone viral on several platforms. She is definitely having impact. And if you, when you, when you hear her talk, you understand why she is someone you want to make sure that you pay attention to. So it is an honor and a pleasure to definitely turn this call over to none other than our wealth connector, our TV personality, Miss Licia Monet. Miss Monet, are you on the line? I am. Can you hear me well? Yes, I can. And this call is officially yours. Absolutely. I'm so excited. I really um, appreciate this time for my BYOB family to level up in the 2021 and the years afterwards. Um, now, um, I do have a PowerPoint presentation, guys, and I'm going to go ahead and get access on my laptop. Give me one moment. Hold on for me. I'm so sorry about that technology. <laughs> me one second. One second. So I do have a question while I'm waiting for it to populate up. Let me ask you this. If you can put in the chat, how many of you have not have been a little uh, nervous about getting on social media to share or expose the BYB movement? If you can go ahead and put a 111 in the chat, show me if anyone's been a little nervous and didn't know what to do. Awesome, 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 awesome. So I know how it is, and I, I want to tell you something. Yes, I'm on multiple. I want to see it's a lot of people. Okay. <laughs> well, I am on Roku TV, Apple TV. I do have a few shows on other net on other networks, but I do want to explain something that I did not always start off as just starting and being excited getting on the um getting on social media. So I want to share something with you. Give me one moment. I'm so sorry. This internet is not really doing what I want it to do. Give me one second. And you know what? You know what I'm excited about is me joining this movement. I get to be a part of the largest economic empowerment movement in the history of mankind. And when I tell you Miss Dyer, she is so phenomenal and amazing. She has really brought some things on the outside and on the inside of me that I never thought I could do. And this movement has really changed me and my children's life. I don't think the same. I don't walk the same and I don't talk the same. And it's from learning this strategy from the creators, my vision, the visionary, Ms. Tasha M. Dyer, the creator, Dr. Bifewood, the, uh, I would say the dynamic trio, I'm not going to say duo, but the dynamic trio has really imparted so much in me and my family's life. And when I say this movement is where it's at, this movement is where it is at. One second. I'm so sorry. Okay, so my question to you is why, you know, what is going on with social media? What's so important about social media? Social media is right now, it is the wave of evolution and it's the wave of technology. And that is the quickest and easiest way to get us to be able to share the good news of the Be Your Own Bank movement. 
There are multiple social media platforms that we use. Um, we have um, the, the most famous, I'm going to say right now, or the most influential for what we're trying to do would be Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. But right now, today, we're going to talk about, you know, Instagram and Facebook. We're going to touch on those bases. One moment. I'm so sorry. Can you guys hear me well? Let me know if you can hear me well. We can hear you just fine, Miss Moment. Okay, awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, so this is what we're going to do, because I'm having a little, a little technical, oh, loud and clear, beautiful. I'm having a little technical difficulty, so I do apologize, but I still know what I'm doing. So we're going to talk a little bit. So one thing I want to share with you guys is that with social media, one thing that people want to know is that you are real people. What are real people? Everyday moms, dads, sisters, brothers, doctors, lawyers, teachers, preachers. You're an everyday person. You have everyday experiences, but other than those everyday experiences, you have something that someone needs, and that is learning how to be a part of the largest economic empowerment movement, to be your own bank movement. And one thing that I do know is, you know, um, when we talk about social media, I would say this, you want to make sure that you have um, your videos, what I'm saying, your videos and your photography, or rather your photos. Have you ever put in the chat, if you've seen it, um, put a tutu in the chat if you've seen people post some videos that are unclear or, or videos that are unclear or pictures that are unclear and it kind of looks like what is going on. Put a tutu in the chat if you've ever seen that. Right, right, right. And so what happens is those are unappealing. That looks like someone didn't take the time to um, whatever story they're talking about, whatever they're looking at, you, you're not going to be interested. And the whole point of what we're doing to expose people to this movement, to expose those people you know, you love, you trust, and so on and so forth in, um, in that aspect is you have to be intentional. And what I mean by being intentional, when you put your images, when you do your images, when you do your photos, you have to make sure that they're clear. You have to make sure that people can see what you're doing. So I would say um, if you are taking photos, be mindful of your background, be mindful of your surroundings, you know, um, editing tools, you know, making sure that you crop um, Excuse me, making sure that you crop a proper, appropriately. I said appropriately. I'm making up new words like Dr. Bicewood. Yes, I am. But um, just some tips I want to go over. You know, um, being intentional in your post. Your post should be intentional if you are intending to expose. And what do I mean by intending to expose? You're exposing a movement. You're exposing the reason why you and your family are on the other side of money. You're exposing the reason why you are free now and you want to share this good news the gospel with the um with people who are looking on your social media page and what do i mean by being intentional i mean letting them know what are you talking about what is making your life change what is so important why are you part of the movement they need to know the intention behind that and i'm gonna touch bases on that in a minute and when i'm saying intentional i'm speaking about when you are intentional about what you're doing, this is going to get people's attention. When you're intentional, you get people's attention, such as doing posts like informational vids, providing value, information, videos with your family, even workout videos. You can do videos or show pictures of you having fun, doing things in your community, even personal development books that you are reading, um, testimonial vids. Um, other, you know, um, even sharing other testimonial vids and just pure inspiration. So, for instance, when we were, when we found out that we had awesome Teddy Riley, and I would love to show that video to y'all. When um, we had found out that Teddy Riley joined as part of this movement, I went ahead and jumped on and did a vid telling people, oh my goodness, Teddy Riley saw the value. He saw how important this movement is to people who need to find a way out for people who are looking for a way to get out of debt, to not write, uh, to write their own financial narrative. And I even sung, I did, um, what's this song? Um, what did I do? Um, don't leave, don't leave me girl. I even sung on it. But the point was, I wanted people to understand that this movement is so powerful that someone in a celebrity status is being mentored by my personal mentor to change his, I mean, to, 
for him to be an example to show people how to be their own bank. I mean, just imagine what impact that would be for someone to say, if he can do it, I can do it. Because you know what? Teddy Riley doesn't need the money. He doesn't need the money, but he sees the impact and he sees the value. And those are things that we can, I'm not going to say feed off of, but those things, that, um, those are things and those are tools and opportunities we can utilize to go ahead and share how important this movement is, that people who don't even need that financial security are secure enough to enroll and share this information and learn it so that they can share it with others. And that's very impactful. Um, another um, thing is when you're on social media, when you're on videos, when you're on pictures, I've had the issue of trying to be personal. You can't hear? Can you guys hear me clearly? Yes, we can. So, hear you. Beautiful. So when it comes to social media, I'll say this. I've had um, times when I am a perfectionist sometimes. And it, it's frustrating because I'm trying to get stuff perfect. And I learned that the imperfections are sometimes what makes the videos the most authentic. So you do not have to be perfect. It's when your hair blows all funny. It's when you spill something on your shirt. It's when someone's laughing in the background because you know what? You're a human being having a human experience and you have DNA. And as long as you have DNA, you're going to mess up sometimes. But there's beauty in the mess up because that shows your authentic, your authenticity to other people. And that being authentic, you still know what you're talking about. For instance, I've stumbled over words. I've made up words like Dr. Bice would because I'm the ultimate remixer of words. But also, I have messed up. I have um, said some goofy things and I've laughed at myself and continued on. So a lot of times us focusing on being perfect is going to delay the message that we have. It's going to take away because it's the message. It's not about the perfection. It's the message and what you're trying to tell someone is you need to connect with me. You need to talk to me. I know a movement. I know a mentor. I know a way and I have a solution to help you and your family get on the other side of money. I have a solution for you who, because you were never financially educated. Now here is your chance to be and not only be financially educated, but also be economically empowered and also profit. So that's something powerful. Um, so um, let me let me touch bases on something else real quick while I'm um, on here. And I do want to tell you this: as long as you're a real person, share your real experiences because there's there's people in I'm going to say the audience or people looking at you, right? You have people who know you, your family, your friends, your classmates, people you grew up with. They're always going to know you as you. That's it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Then you have people who are trying to figure out what are you talking about? Who are you? What are you doing? But the major thing is being consistent. That means every day. That means also saying the same thing, but being intentional about what you're saying, being intentional and relaying your message. As in going on social media, I know we're advised about three times a day. It doesn't have to be a, a, um, a five minute video. You can do a two minute video. For instance, I am a mom. I am a mom who is single. But I'm a mom. Um, you know, I was driving the other day and going to pick up my kids from school, and I decided I do not want my children riding the bus. And so I used that as a time to get on social media and express, I am so grateful that I made up my mind to get on the other side of money and be able to pick up my kids from school every day without having to try to get uh, get somebody to go pick them up or not have a babysitter because I decided how to learn a skill set and a strategy. You see what I'm saying? I, I use that as a way to show people, hey, I'm still a mom. I still do the same thing every day, things like you. But I decided because I chose to join a movement, because, because I became empowered, because I have a skill set that I, I don't have the same limitations that some people are trying to get rid of. So um, let me know. Um, put put it um three 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 in the chat if that makes sense to you about you sharing the limitations you no longer have or the limitations you're about to drop because you decide to make this change. Amen. 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 You know, it's nothing like being free. And I'll say this. You know, I did a picture 
on social media the other day, and I'm just going to have to tell you, I'm going to have to follow me on social media as well, um, on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, um, but follow me on those platforms, but even in my videos, I did, uh, someone took a picture of me the other day, and I'm just going to read it to you, and I put, the camera is always on me, and you know, the camera's always on me, and it feels so good sometimes to take a break back, take a breath, and just look at a beautiful day. It feels good to be in a position where I live life on my own terms. The life that God said I can have, the life I deserve. I didn't even mention be your own bank, but what am I mentioning? That I living my life on my terms and that I am living in freedom and I have control. So what I'm saying is each time that I'm delivering a message, even if it's from the smallest thing to the biggest thing, it's I'm telling people I'm free. I get to enjoy this. And now they all, they hear me talk about be your own bank, about walking in financial freedom, walking in, writing my own financial narrative. Or when I spend time with my kids, I can do what I want. It makes sense now. It all ties into the same exact thing. I'm saying the same thing, but I'm showing where I have my liberty now that I have my time back. Now I have my freedom. Now I have profit. Now I live life on my terms, and it all connects to my everyday life with my children, with me. Um, for instance, I just started kickboxing today. I was not really good at it, but I started it today. But once again, I got on Facebook today and I said, it feels good I, to always be able to try something new whenever I want to. My message of intention is I get to try stuff whenever I want to because I'm economically empowered. What am I saying? Hey, they know I'm a mom because I talk about it and I'm doing everyday things. But once again, I'm empowered and I'm showing them I Get, I have joy in my freedom, and I'm not bound. I'm not walking with shackles, and I'm not walking with chains. And that's the, me the same message that I relay. And that's the same thing that you can do if you're a mom, if you're a dad. I know we have some clergymen on the line and clergy women. I know that we have nurses and we have teachers. Just imagine whatever profession, whatever you do at home in your daily life, it will always be a testimony of intention because right now, what are you doing? You are seeking economic freedom. You are seeking profit. You are seeking your time back. And how are you doing it? By being a part of this movement. And what is this movement doing? It is being able to give you access to the very things that you desire. And now what are you doing? You're sharing it with everyone. And you know what? Even the haters on the side, they're going to wonder what you're doing. And they're going to be nosy. Have, you know you have some nosy people. Don't put it in the chat. Y'all know y'all got some nosy people sometimes looking at what you're doing. They be in your stories. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> right, right, right. So, um, so one thing I wanted to touch bases on, too, is um, sharing. Right. So my thing is, do not just share you. People always, they know you. Right? They, it's your page. It's your profile page, right? They know you. And one thing about it, don't just share you. I say this, you are the movement. You are Be Your Own Bank. You are the movement, but you are not the only part of the movement. And let's get real. Sometimes people don't want to always see you. They want to see you, but there's, if you're telling them, I'm getting on the other side of money and I'm getting free and they're only seeing you, they need to see something bigger, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm not asking, but I'm saying it does make sense because if they see, such as um, Mr. Washington, Pastor Washington, which I posted on my page today, and I edified him, I said, hey, I'm the wealth connector. I'm a TV and influencer. I have shows and global platforms, but I'm, I'm also with a pastor, a coach, a mentor, an author, and he's known as the average breaker, and he's streaming on 11 a.m. giving you motivation from Atlanta, Georgia. This movement is everywhere. Now I just show them that this is not just me in the movement, right? I show them that not only am I a part of a movement, I have someone that is in the authority power and a part of the movement, someone who has influence and in not only within this movement, but also in Atlanta, Georgia, and has influence over a congregation or whoever his ministry is established to. So they see that it is bigger than me. And that's what Be Your Own Bank is all about. It's about it's an empowerment movement. It's not just about you. It's bigger than us. We are what Ms. Dyer likes to say, I like to say, life-changing agents. That's very important because what we're doing is changing lives. Every day, and I want you to think about this, every day that you get on a live, every day that you post something intentional, 
every day that you share information, you, I want you to think about, I am helping someone change their life. I'm helping a mom get off the street. I'm helping a dad who got fired. I'm helping someone who thought there wasn't a way out. I am helping someone who has, um, who thought that they weren't smart enough for school and look at them excel at this strategy. You know, so it's amazing. And I do want to touch on a little bit of my background very quickly. I'm come from, um, I'm an, I'm a, I'm a, well, I'm a grown woman now, but I'm adopted. But I come from a background where me and my kids were homeless, and I used to teach DPK, and I taught in my classroom, um, and I slept in my classroom that I taught in. Before my students came to class, me and my kids slept on the classroom floor on those little, um, the little mats that the little kids, the three-year-olds and four-year-olds slept on. That's what we slept on. And for someone, I'm not going to say like me, but because my life has changed, now I am on a global platform sharing about how this movement and some other things that God has done in my life has shifted. So what I'm saying is your story is powerful. I can tell my story, but the only person that can tell your story is you. And someone needs to hear your story. Even if you think the things are small, someone is going to attach to what you're saying. Someone has been fired from a job. Someone has been laid off. Someone has been abused. Someone has been divorced. Someone has um, losses. Someone is so forth. Someone has a part of your story in their life. And you need to be the one telling your story so they can say, if she does this, if he does this, if they've been through the same thing, I can do it too. Go ahead and put a two, two, two in the chat if that makes sense. Amen, 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 amen. So I also want to share um, um, about two more things. I want to share that, amen to that, I want to share, make sure that you share your wins. Share your wins and express what you have gained since you've joined the movement. You know, the money, the freedom, possibly understanding money, learning how to profit, learning how to compound money, getting clarity on um, economics, getting clarity on financial empowerment. Showing, uh, talking about your mentorship, about your growth, about the change in your community, about what's going on in your community now that you've been impacted and empowered, about the shift in your family. For instance, my son is, when I joined the movement, my son was 15. He just turned 16, and I shared that he, he now, when he gets on the phone, he says, Mom, are you on the phone with Mr. Miss Tasha M. Dyer or Mr. Um, or Mr. Gerald D. Rogers, and he knows what I'm saying is he sees the impact that these people have in my life, and he feels that I'm on the phone with these people all the time, which I am sometimes because they love talking to me so much, and maybe I do the same. But what I'm saying is this movement has affected and impacted my family in ways that I never thought I would understand. And now my son knows what pips are. Now my son knows about Chikanashi candles. Now my son knows about a Shikoshi. We've never had that conversation before until I joined the movement. Now my son says things like, Mom, I will never work for anybody. I won't and it, I want you to think about the people in your ministry, your children, your neighbors, your nieces and nephews saying, I don't want to work for anybody. I found a way that I can fund my dream. I found a way that I can live life on my terms. So that is impactful. And that's something that I've shared with these people because, you know, when your child does something, when, when the, because the shift isn't just about you, the shift affects everyone. So I want to just touch on that. So share your wins, share your wins. And then, oh, I'm about to get deep. Share your losses. Or not even losses. I'm going to say this. Share your transitional moments. I'll say it like that. Your growth moments with intent. Looks like a video or a picture. For instance, I was transparent and I wrote about chronicles of a single suicide attempting divorced mom who never clocked in another job ever again. And I am going to say that again. I'm going to say that very strong. That I wrote chronicles of a single suicide attempted divorced mom who never clocked in another job after 2019. I was transparent and I was intentional once again. You know, I shared about the things that I went through that I did not want to be on this earth anymore and attempted to take myself out the door um, about um, two times about um, two years ago. 
And, you know, God shifted some things in my life. But now I have a cameraman following me everywhere I go. Now I write my own financial narrative by becoming my own bank. Now I have my own television show. Now I connect people to wealth and help them change their mindset and increase their money. Now I get to glorify the, glorify the Lord at the same time. Even though I shared my transparency moment, I just didn't share the moment and leave it at that. I shared where I was, where I'm at, and definitely where I'm going. So I just want you to be real. Share it. Share it. So I know I have about another minute, but I want to share one more thing. I see some people don't do. <laughs> you got to smile and you got to look like you enjoy what you're talking about. You can't tell people you got free and life is so amazing and you have a unit on your face or you have a smile. Hey, lean to the left or find that right angle and you smile and you show people should see the joy in your eyes and they should see the joy in your smile and in your voice. One thing that Miss Dyer says and um Mr. Roger Mr. Gerald Rogers always says is people don't hear what you say, they feel what you say. And I will definitely testify to that. Because let's be real, have you ever been around someone and they say, Well, how's your day going? And you go they say, Oh, it's all right. You're not getting good energy from that. But if you ask someone, how's your day going? They're like, that day was amazing. You know what? It wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but it turned out completely different. That's a complete energy shifter. And it does it does something. It causes people to engage. So I will say this. You have to smile. You have to be happy. Don't force it. But let me tell you this. You shouldn't have to force it because every time that you look, every time that you look at that compounding sheet that Miss Anderson went over, Every time that you look at that strategy, whether it's going and you're going into a buy or you're going to a sell, every time you're looking at it, you're looking at economic empowerment. You're looking at legacy building. You're looking at generations upon generations getting free because of a choice you made. And there's no reason that you should not smile about it. And there's no reason that you should not share that with other people. Will everyone agree? Will everyone be happy? No, but it doesn't matter. It's your job to share. And I did learn that it is a sense of selfishness to keep it to yourself. If you get free, why are you not telling other people how you got free? You have to get on the camera sometimes. You have to go smile at somebody sometimes. You have to put a photo up and show people, listen, there's a lot going on in this world right now. People need to know that you are on the other side of money. People need to know that you are shifting your legacy. People need to know that. You are looking at your son and your daughter, or you're looking at the parent that you're taking care of or the loved one you're taking care of, and you are funding their health care right now. You're funding the place where they're living right now. You're able to put them in private school. You're able to make choices about health care and choices about the places you go to eat and choices about where you get to live. People need to see that, and that shouldn't be like Ms. Dyer said. You shouldn't be a CIA agent. This is not a witness protection. You know, the best way to protect those you love is to share the good news. It's to share the good news. So in reference to that, um, I will say this. I would have loved for you to see my PowerPoint, but what I want to say is the message is still the same. Though you didn't see the pictures, the truth is be you. Smile. Share your testimony and know that every time you share your testimony that you are helping someone get out of bondage. And that is such a powerful thing. Every time that you share a word, every time that you share a picture, every time that you share a video, every time you give inspiration, someone is looking at you saying, I might have a chance. And that's that's a really big deal, which means you're a really big deal. So that is all I have to share. I do want to, um, we're going to fix this PowerPoint. If I need to send it out, I'll send it out. But I'm here to tell you, you should be thankful for whoever invited you to this empowerment movement because you are going to change households. You are going to shift legacies and you are going to be a new creature. And I'm so excited for you. So that is all I have to say. And I am going to turn the call back over. Miss Dyer, are you there? Absolutely. Absolutely. I am here. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, do you feel more empowered? Are you ready to come out of the witness protection program? Are you ready to be a change agent? Are you ready to own it? The way Miss Monet, Miss Alicia Monet King just laid it down for you all, the way she just shared with you all exactly what you need to do. Are you ready to just get up, get out, and let's make sure we spread this good news? What she just said about you know, the best way to look out, the best way to take care, the best way to love on your family, the best way to love on your friends, your neighbors, your relative is to share the good news. It is a mic drop. It definitely was fire. This call was phenomenal. And I'm telling you right now, I know she poured into several of you all and she poured into me. I know that her testimony, her testimony, her testimony, her testimony is going to change some lives, just like each and every last one of you all out there. So you all have a testimony too. And now it's time for you to go write the narrative and create your story. So ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, do our visionary, Mr. Rogers, you have anything you wanna add before we close out here this evening? Technology tonight, boy, technology, there he is. <laughs> now, I just wanna say, you know, I, I'm just so grateful and appreciate the God because I know um, the evolution of the amazing Miss King and just to hear her strength, you know, gives me more strength. And, and ladies and gentlemen, you know, we all come from different places. You know, we have a, a, a time where we came before the movement, where we are and where we're headed. And I just want you to know that this movement unequivocally, I know it's ordained of God, the hand of the Lord is on this movement. And just remember, uh, you are relevant. You are very significant. Uh, and we can't wait to hear your testimony of what you are doing and how you're going to be a tremendous blessing. And I, I, I just want to say um, to know that, and I've had the opportunity to meet her sons and to be a litmus test and an example to now that they're galvanizing this information at 14 and 16. And just imagine, had you and I, if we were having these type of conversations in our households, at the age of 14, at the age of seven, how different would our communities be? How different would our places of fellowship be? How different would your personal household be? So I don't want you to take this moment lightly. I want you to understand that the very little thing that you're doing by showing up, by staying tuned in, by staying plugged in, it is making it and then having a ripple effect. Uh, so I just wanted to encourage you, uh, the best is yet to come. We've decreed and declared that for this year, the year of 2021 was the year of transformation. We made it a declaration that the month of July was financial uh, independence and, and August was new beginnings. And now the month of September is a month for you to remember that you operated and walked in purpose and your purpose greatness. So back to you, Ms. Dyer. Wow, wow, wow. Let's let's be intentional. Now I'm going to challenge all of you all on the line. I'm going to challenge you to take her words by heart. I'm going to challenge you to make sure that you make this a September to remember. I'm going to challenge you to shift your energy. I'm going to challenge you to make sure that you're felt they don't right they they don't they don't hear what you say. People feel what you say. So I challenge each and every last one of you all to make sure that you are intentional about changing someone else's life. Do not do it for you, do it for them. Because remember, we're exposing people to a movement. Did she say that? Because I love to hear that. I know a movement. I know a movement. And that's always the commentary when you hear her speak. I know a movement. And so I'm challenging all of you all to expose someone to a movement, a movement that's changing lives, a movement that's having economic impact, a movement that's being heard around the world. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I will see you at 5 a.m. and 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Set your clocks. Let's go make this money. But at the same time, understand that it's time for you to come out of the BYOB Witness Protection Program and let's change some lives and let's do it together. Two million families. One more time. Two million families financially educated, 
impacted, and we are going to change the world together. That is what this movement is. I love you all, and we will see you in the morning.